Hello everybody, Morvix on the move. It is Valentine's Day coming up and I have done a couple of cute things and I just wanted to share them with you. These are um, just wooden block pieces that I got from the, um, where did I get them from? Hobby Lobby. And I went ahead and painted them. And then I just simply went to the dollar store and got the ribbon, the Valentine hearts, these little flowers. They have, um, these roses that are like felt. Look at this. And then they had also this little lace. Isn't that the cutest thing? So they were plain wooden blocks. I painted them white. And then I went ahead and uh, decorated the back. This one has a piece of paper. Um, this one is painted two different ways, just like a it. just cute stuff, whatever. Whatever colors you want, whatever theme you have, purples, if you wanna do them and. Um, maybe the candy that you eat with the hearts, uh, the be mine with the little messages on it. You can do anything here for Valentine's Day. And then this I picked up at the dollar store. It was a plain wooden heart for a dollar. And I had all the embellishments from buying to decorate that. So you can see here that I used a felt heart on it. I just put love notes. And then the dollar store had eight of these little paper clips and I went ahead and hot glued it on there for love notes. And then I just put the little things on there. I'm gonna hang this up. Is this cute or what? It was maybe what, $2 to make? Caitlin and I painted it. She wanted half and half. So she picked the colors. I was gonna just do all red or all pink and she said, let's do half and half. So I just think it's adorable. And then I went around with the white dots and the paint. I wish my printing was better, but I just never like achieved calligraphy. So, but that is definitely homemade, right? And it's super cute. Just two little decorations. And then if you want some more Valentine's um, ideas, these are felt. You can get this at Hobby Lobby, Michael's Joanne Fabrics. And then I cut out hearts. You can see I have a polka dot. I've got a red polka dot, all different sizes for the hearts. And then what I did is I took a sewing machine and I just strung, fed it through and sewed. You could see stitch the top across the hearts. And I made garland. I made this like three years ago at least three years ago, this garland. And then I just wrap it up and every year I bring it out. And it's so cute and it's so festive. I love it, it makes me smile. And then here's another one. My jar, it's a mason jar. I just painted it white and then decorated it. Maj podged over and did a little whatever on it. I've got two of these, the other one's in the bathroom with uh, roses in it. But then I just did some tooling and some ribbon. Is that cute or what? I just gotta do some uh, something in there for that one for my little decoration. These are other blocks that I got at Michael's and Hobby Lobby. And I kept the sides natural. And then I just did XO on them. You can see, you can switch it. I love us. <laughs> So I did that one in pink. I don't know, just something cute and fun for the holiday. And then I made these blocks too. I may as well show you everything. Sorry, I'm moving kind of fast. This one I had um, paper um, downstairs in my scrapbook area. So I actually cut it out, the words, so the print is like that. So this one, um, I just cut out the words and then I just glued it on, Maj Paj. That's it, I glued it and then Maj Paj. This one, this was just actually a card and I cut it out and I Maj Pajed it. These were wooden blocks, so I painted them first. There's this one, isn't that cute? I just love it and then this one. Hey you, I love your face. <laughs> so these were just wooden blocks. You can paint them pink, purple, red, and then boom, just write your little message on there. And it's so cute. I've got it sent around my house. Happy Valentine's Day.